everyone! Welcome to my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to talk about tinnitus, triggers, and spikes. I'm working on a video about hearing fatigue and how people with hearing loss can help combat against hearing fatigue. I do this because I am hard of hearing myself and I deal with hearing fatigue frequently. I don't personally struggle with tinnitus, but I know there are hundreds of people that do, especially people on my channel. So for those that struggle with tinnitus, today's video is for you. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more excellent hearing loss related content for you. Tinnitus is a condition where individuals hear ringing in their ears, only they can hear it, and it can be very debilitating. It seems that tinnitus strugglers feel very isolated and alone. This is normal when you're struggling with something that other people don't understand. Being hard of hearing, I have noticed that there are things that I can do to reduce my hearing fatigue. I did a little bit of research and found that there are things that people that struggle with tinnitus can do to hopefully reduce or minimize tinnitus spikes. The first thing that a tinnitus sufferer can do to avoid a tinnitus episode is to avoid excessive sound exposure. If you're going somewhere and you know that there are going to be loud sounds, such as if you're attending a football game and you know that there's going to be an air flight flyover, take some earbuds, protect your hearing. This would be a simple task that could prevent a tinnitus episode. In addition to that, consider where you're going. Will there be other loud noises? If so, take some earbuds with you. If excessive sound is prolonged, take out your earplugs and put them in. This may help eliminate a tinnitus episode. The second thing is eating habits. What you eat can make you more susceptible to an episode of tinnitus. Now, I understand that some people deal with tinnitus constantly and it never goes away. However, some sources claim that if you eat well and eat right with a balanced diet that works for you, this can reduce tinnitus. Every person is different, so talk to your doctor. What does a well-balanced diet look like for you? This diet could be lower in sodium or salt. It could be low in sugar. In addition to proper diet, consider other things you may consume that could make you more susceptible to an episode of tinnitus, such as drugs, alcohol, or smoking. The next big item is sleep deprivation can cause or make someone more susceptible to tinnitus episodes. The body needs sleep to be able to recalibrate itself and reset for the next day. If someone has poor sleep, they're going to experience more tinnitus episodes most likely. And so be sure that you get a good night's sleep. Get eight to nine hours. Make sure you have a comfy bed and pillow. We sleep like a third of our lives. So be sure to be comfortable when you sleep. I will also add that if you are taking any medications, whether they are for sleep deprivation or other things, tinnitus can be a side effect of these medications. Be aware of that. One of the biggest triggers or spikes for tinnitus is certainly stress and anxiety. Stress just causes your whole body to just have that rhythm that's not quite right. You need to be able to feel relaxed enjoy life. If you've got something that you need to get done, get it done. But definitely, if you find yourself worrying about things in and out, consider some solutions. Get better rest, take time for yourself, go see a counselor, and more. The next item that can cause tinnitus to spike are weather and pressure changes. This is really interesting and I definitely know that this is a thing based on my own personal hearing. Based on the weather outside, I have noticed that it is easier or harder for me to hear. The most extreme example of this is when it is raining or snowing. Because of that, there's precipitation falling through the air. It's harder for the sound to travel, it's harder for me to hear it and understand. That said, just be aware that weather and pressure changes can affect your inner ear balance. It can affect whether or not you could be more susceptible to a tinnitus episode. And last but not least, TMJ or temporomandibular joint dysfunction can cause one to be more susceptible to a tinnitus episode. TMJ means that your jaw locks and you clench. And this can cause stress throughout your whole jawline and face. This stress can make one more susceptible to an episode of tinnitus. So there are lots of things that can make someone more susceptible to tinnitus. And if you experience tinnitus, it may be for one or a mix of these reasons, but it may just be that you're just struggling with tinnitus and that is hard. That is hard to deal with, but definitely I encourage you to pay attention 
to these things that I've listed in the video. Start paying attention to when you get tinnitus. See if there is a correlation. Ask yourself, did I sleep well last night? If you start having a bad episode of tinnitus or if you start experiencing tinnitus, consider the weather, consider what you have been eating consider your stress level. When you start to notice these things, you will start to recognize what triggers your tinnitus, if that is something you're able to correlate. And if so, you can start avoiding those triggers and hopefully reduce the number of episodes of tinnitus that you experience. From what I have heard, tinnitus is extremely debilitating and can really be an irritant to people who struggle with tinnitus. Just remember that you are not alone. 10 million Americans struggle with tinnitus as well. It can feel like you're alone because you can't see the other people that have tinnitus, but I know that there are other people who have tinnitus that are watching this video. If you have tinnitus, please let me know in the comments below so that other people with tinnitus can see that there are other people that struggle with tinnitus like them. Do you have any other questions for me? If so, I want to hear in the comments below. If you have tinnitus, have you noticed that any of the factors that I listed impact your tinnitus episodes? If so, I want to know which ones and I would love to hear in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more hearing and hearing loss related content for you. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay amazing. Bye.